Hey everyone, I'm the Canadian Lad and today's video is all about Spider-Man 3 that's coming December this year. Now I have two potential leaks from two reliable sources. One of the two leaks is really huge and might just tell us how Spider-Man 3 will pan out. So if you want to stay clear from any potential spoilers, then I'd ask you to click away right now. But if you have decided to stick around, then let's begin without any delay. The geeks worldwide who originally broke the news of Alfred Molina returning to the role of Dr. Octopus is now reporting that most of the newly reported cast members in Spider-Man 3 will just have cameos or will appear in the film's third act. And they even said that Daredevil and Spider-Man will end up having roughly the same amount of screen time. More about this in a minute. However, Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield are being reserved mostly for the third act. Now the reason I'm trusting this source is because they were the first ones to announce that Alfred Molina is indeed coming back, which later was confirmed by The Hollywood Reporter. So I see no reasons to not believe this report, considering the news that most of them having cameos or only appearing briefly in the movie actually does make sense, especially if Tobey Maguire is still in talks with Marvel Studios and Sony to appear alongside Andrew Garfield and Tom Holland. It seems more than likely that Jamie Foxx's Electro and Alfred Molina's Dr. Octopus will have more screen time than Toby and Andrew. The reason being, all these villains are gonna get the better of Tom Holland's Spider-Man. And in that moment, we might see the multiverse opening up. So Tom Spidey might be so devastated that he will need the help of Toby and Andrew's Spider-Man. So it actually makes sense that even if the rumors of Toby and Andrew joining the cast are true, still they won't have any bigger role than a cameo. Because this franchise still belongs to Tom Holland. Not to mention that it will be a bit crowded if the other two actors took up any more screen time than necessary. I mean, think about this. Marvel sidelined Captain Marvel in order to do justice to the original six Avengers. Then do you really think they wouldn't do the same for one of the most popular characters, aka Spider-Man? Now coming to the second plot leak from Spider-Man 3. According to Murphy's Multiverse, Charlie Cox will reportedly return as Daredevil in Tom Holland's Spider-Man 3. Reportedly, the deal was made months before the Marvel Netflix clause ended. It remains to be seen how Daredevil will factor in the already overarching narrative of this film. But there are two possibilities. At this point, it is all but confirmed that the multiverse will be the main focus of Spider-Man 3. And Cox's Daredevil could be pulled from the Marvel Netflix universe to help Peter Parker with whatever conflict he will experience in this film. And on the flip side, there's a strong chance that Charlie will be playing an entirely new version of Matt Murdock aka Daredevil, giving the character a clean slate in the MCU. And if that happens, it's safe to say that Murdock will likely serve as Peter Parker's lawyer, helping Spidey to clear his name after the events of Spider-Man Far From Home. Now I'm gonna address some news regarding Thor Love and Thunder. In a recent live conversation with Chris Pratt, Tom Holland revealed that his shooting Spider-Man 3 in the very same stage where he originally auditioned for the role five years ago. We started shooting Spider-Man 3 a few months ago, which has been crazy and really weird because we're shooting it back in Atlanta and okay. that's where I did my audition for Spider-Man and we're actually shooting in the stage that I did my audition. Oh. So it's like a really weird full circle story of like walking through the same door I walked through as an 18 year old kid, like nervous, like, oh my God, I hope I get this job. And then walking yeah. through the door at 24, making the third movie, loving life, confident, enjoying everything that's happening to me. So it was, it's been amazing, dude. It's been awesome. I've been very lucky. But then Tom got to ask Chris about his upcoming movies and Pratt answered the following. We, I've got, I've got, well, I've got um, Guardians uh, coming up. Awesome. Uh, next year and I've got Thor, uh, Thor. I'm gonna go be in Thor in Australia. So I'll be traveling to Australia in about a week. Um, well, wait a minute, did you just say you're gonna be in Thor? Yeah. That's so crazy, I, did it? Am I not supposed I feel, to say that? I feel like no one knew that, bro. No, they knew that. They knew that. I think they knew that. No, they knew that. If they didn't, they know now. Oh, shit. Well, they know now. Um, <laughs> So alongside Mantis and Groot, Star-Lord aka Chris Pratt is also officially confirmed to appear in Thor Love and Thunder. And that's pretty much all the news I wanted to cover in today's video. And I'll continue to keep you lads up to date with all the rumors, casting news and even potential plot leaks. However, I won't spread any rumors unless it's coming from a reliable source. And the couple of plot leaks that I've given you today, take them all with a grain of salt. But I have a strong feeling their reporting is correct 
considering how accurate they were in the past. Now lads, if you could take a minute, please visit my official Canadian Lad merch store at the canadianlad.merchforall.com. And whatever products you purchase, you can take a picture after putting it on and send it to me so that I can feature them at the end of my videos. Now if you like this video, then please grab the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram to get updates about my channel. Till then, I'll see you lads in the next one.